Warm up one, diff 21 in Java. Given an int n, return the absolute difference between n and 21, except return double the absolute difference if n is over 21. So first, let's go over the sample cases. So here we have um, our parameter, int n equals 19. Um, yeah, I'll just write it like this. Okay, so 19 is not over 21 um, because 19 is actually less than 21. As a result, we just return the absolute difference between uh, 19 and 21, uh, which is 2, um, because 21 minus 19 is 2. Next, we have case n equals 10. Again, 10 is not greater than 21 because 10 is less than 21. As a result, the absolute difference between 21 and 10 is 21 minus 10, or 11, which is what we return. Next, we have the case 21. Um, here, 21 is not greater than 21 because 21 does, um, equals 21. We just return the absolute difference between 21 and 21. Um, and no matter how you order it, 21 minus 21 equals 0. Because none of these sample cases included, I'll also add a case in which n is over 21, so you get an idea of how that works as well. So for example, if n equals 25, then we note that n is over 21 because 25 is greater than 21. As a result, we just return double the absolute difference between 25 and 21. The difference between 25 and 21 is 4 because 25 minus 21 is 4. Double that is 8, so we return 8. So, as you may now notice after doing all these sample cases, this just requires two if statements and a little uh, arithmetic. So here's what I mean. So first, we just check if n is over 21, because that's the case in which we do something else special. If that's not the case, for all other cases, we just return the absolute value difference between n and 21. This is just an exception, so we'll count that first. So first, if n is greater than 21, we return double their absolute difference. Because n is greater than 21, the absolute difference between n and 21 will just be n minus 21. Double that is 2 times n minus 21. Now we just do it for all other cases. So here, um, we just return the absolute difference between n and 21. Because in this case, n will be less than or equal to 21, the absolute difference between n and 21 will just be 21 minus n. Um, so that is the problem implemented, and if we run it, you'll see that it works.